Now this is how you kick off a new month for movies. Chronicle centers on these three high school students, played by Dane DeHaan, Alex Russell, and Michael B. Jordan, who end up getting telekinetic superpowers after finding a hole in the ground with a certain thing that's in there which I am not going to reveal to you. At first they begin to use their powers as a way of pranking people around their city, but it slowly evolves into something more where they have to start setting a set of rules to what they can and can't do, and things get out of control when one of the guys, Andrew, ends up going out of control from his depressed home life and ends up taking it out on almost everyone else, and it's up to them to try and stop him. Chronicle was one of those movies released in this month where I was a lot more intrigued than excited for it, but I gotta say, after walking out of this, this is one of the most surprising movies that I have seen in quite some time, and I mean that in a very good way. All three lead actors do a terrific job, in particular Dane DeHaan, who looks like a younger Leonardo DiCaprio, but then again, when you think of that terminology, you can't really say that as a true fact because, come on, Leonardo DiCaprio is barely even aged in the past 20 years. DeHaan has to make the big transition of playing the lonely and melancholic social outcast into being this unrelenting force of energy that no one can really stop and he does a fantastic job at transcending in that direction in the later half of the film especially. The one setback I had when I was going to see this was the found footage style because we have to admit ever since Paranormal Activity revived that dying genre we've really had a lot of films that have tried to utilize that technique but done it in such a poor execution. <clears throat> Apollo 18. But leave it to director Josh Trank for totally revamping this fledgling genre by adding a lot of smart and innovative techniques to really amp it up. A lot of these smart and innovative techniques come from the character Andrew who buys a camera in the beginning of the film and later as the movie goes on his telekinetic powers allow him to move the camera with his mind and a lot of the techniques that Trank uses are very mind blowing at times which you really ask the question constantly how in the hell did you get that to work? Trank also adds on a very smart pace begin from the film when the guys learn how to use their powers and transitions perfectly into the all hell is broken loose second act and he did a fantastic job utilizing all the visual effects within the camera angles as well. I mean a lot of them have green screen effects in them but his attention to detail to all the things in the background is just perfect. And speaking of the visual effects they are all really good in their own way even though you can notice a lot of them are obvious at times yet they're done in such a very innovative way at times and let me tell you the final 15 minutes alone are worth seeing for this film because that is where all visual effects heaven just breaks out and it is eye -care candy for the time. As much as I'm praising this movie, the biggest nitpick that I had was this love story subplot that involved the character Matt and Casey, in which I feel like they really just added it in to make it look like they weren't focusing all out on one character in particular, they tried to emphasize one more. It did feel out of place most of the time because it made an abrupt shift sometimes in between scenes that are building up to the big final act of the film. Yet again, as I gotta give it to him, you kinda gotta include that stuff anyway, but still, yeah. Overall though, Chronicle is without a doubt the best movie that I've seen this year. It's a surprisingly smart and innovative take on the found footage genre. All actors delivering very good performances and Josh Trank is definitely a director to look at in the next few years or so. I even heard this guy might be helming a Fantastic Four reboot in the future and get that guy on it because he's definitely a face to watch and that's why I'm going to give Chronicle a very strong 4.5 out of 5 stars. So I hope you enjoyed my review of Chronicle. I put an annotation above here when I have my written review up for the movie and I'd also like to announce to you guys that I was interviewed for a staff writing position at my college today so pretty soon I might be getting paid for the reviews that I do write for that newspaper and that'll be pretty good because it will up my writing career as well. So in the meantime, Tom from County Creek Reviews, leave your thoughts on what your favorite kids or teens with superpowers or supernatural abilities movie is below in the comment box and I'll see you guys later.